Hi everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So I wanted to jump in because I hadn't been in um, since earlier last week where I showed you some fun new things and I have been crafting all weekend, creating some really beautiful cards. And if you hopped on Facebook with me, thank you for joining us. And I wanted to share with you how those cards that I'd started turned out. So I have 18 amazing cards to share with you, which is so much fun. And then you get to choose what our next craft together will be. So you can pick one of these cards, I think I know which one you'll all choose, but I'm going to see and see what you think. I'm going to talk you through some of the tips and tricks and techniques I used on each one. And you can get a little bit of a sneak peek of what is coming up on December 11th over on Hachanda. They've taken some of our new releases. Um, there's one stamp set that's a pre-release exclusive to them. There's also the UK A6 size of the Perfect Blend cardstock. Lots and lots of fun things in there. Hi, everyone who's joining. Um, so I wanted to share 18 amazing cards with you, or I think they're amazing. Maybe I'm a bit biased because I made them. Um, and Greg took some fab pictures of them. So let's dive in first of all with these two. So I decided because these were going on TV, and in England, there's no premium to send like a six by six card. Like here, if you send something square, you put the extra postage on. So I decided to use these stamps whole. So I did this gorgeous, um, this is the wreath here, the Alex Siberia wreath. And I did it in rainbow order, as you can all see. Um, and then I added some beautiful gems using our wand and things like that. And then I stacked the sentiments to make the centerpiece. But you could very easily just do half of this on an A2. And you would have two beautiful cards if you, you could do any way you like. So um, a great way to uh, do that and use that one in that way. So you can use it on a square or you can go to A2. And this is the same stamp, but done in a fall theme. So my plan is to get this done for all four seasons, but this is my fall and this is my summer right now. So the rainbow and the fall, and it's got some beautiful gems and stuff on there too. So um, they are all colored with Copics. I did use lots of different colors and things in there. Um, and then one tip is here, you see how this center doesn't look so bland, to color the center there, and it just makes a big difference. I cut it out using the scan and cut, um, but you could fussy cut this out, and I didn't cut the center out, I just uh, colored in the center, and made it super easy, and put the sentiment across the front. So there's a way to use those, and again, you can do the big square, you could use them on a scrapbook page, you could um, do all sorts of fun things like that too. So. Um, that's one that I made. Then I did this vine and wreath and look at all those gems. So I did the vine and wreath on the tip tree gem cardstock. I used the you matter to me um, sentiment, which is because of you, I laugh a little harder, cry a little less and smile a lot more. And then I used the kaleidoscope powder. I think I wrote in here, solar flare kaleidoscope powder. And then I added the center of all the flowers is beautiful gems. So lots of sparkle in there. And then it just, you know, kind of peps it up a little bit too. This is probably one of my favorites. So there's another technique. Then um, this one I colored in the sepia. So this is one of the new Alex Siberia florals. These are in the Maker Forte store. And Maker Forte has 35% off for um, Black Friday and it extends through midnight EST tonight. So it goes through till midnight or 9 p.m. PST. Um, 35% off the whole store. It excludes bundles and gift cards. But other than that, you can grab all of these gorgeous stamp sets. And again, the same thing in here. So I colored this in the sepia. And then I colored, ooh, this little critter around. Um, I colored in here to blend this all together. And then I added using the kaleidoscope powders. Can you see that lovely, like, there you go. There's that glitter coat that I added on top so that you have all that extra shimmer in there. So again, and then stacked my sentiments down like this. Now, same stamp set as this one, I did this one. Now, this is colored using just three Copic pens plus the green, so I guess four. But the, floor, the leaves themselves, really simple coloring, three colors, and it really comes together. I used the For You up here, I put a little bit of purple behind it, stuck to sentiment. And really, this is just one layer. And then again, I sprayed on... You can see there some uh, kaleidoscope powder in a spray and added all that extra glitter. Then I also did, because I like to show different ways to use the same stamp, I think it's really important. So I did the You Matter To Me and then I did 
for you. Uh, sending love and hugs. Here, I'll just come back a little bit. So this one again is done in a monochrome and a, you know, lots of glitter and sparkles when you're doing TV samples. And then this one is colored in the purples. So I did use a few more pens on these ones, but I did a set like, where are they in here? Here they are. So this set here, this again is the same stamp, Alex Siberia, I think this one's called Hugs. Um, so these are the two here. Now this is the monochrome, this is the version of it in blue. And these were colored using three shades of blue or three shades of gray only. So if you want that to be the next tutorial, you need to drop me a comment and let me know if you want to see that, maybe you want to see actually the kaleidoscope powders and easy ways to place gems. Um, maybe you want just general Copic coloring tips, but this one is a great one if you're just looking to get going. And then I added, look at all that kaleidoscope on top, all of that extra shimmer. This one I added some like um, glue and then added some of our uh, sugar sparkles on and added all of that on there. So really, really simple cards, um, just using three shades of pens. Um, but I thought that was a really fun one. I thought that might be a, make a great next tutorial, but you can let me know what you think. Then I have a few more using stencils. And again, these might be the, your favorites for a tutorial. You can drop them in the comments and let me know. Um, this is using the Unbelievable and one of the Kaleidoscope powders. This is using satin. And I put it on, added a few gems, really, really simple. But look how effective. And then I did it in the sentiment too. So the sentiment's done in Yellowstone. Um, so that you can um, you know, create some really fun things. And I took my color hive and I literally just went through the stencil to add all of that in there. And then you've got all that gorgeous detail. So really, really simple, but so effective. This is on that perfect blend. And then cool, even with all of that, just that little bit of foil adds so much detail. It says what a year on there. I did, this is funny because this is Pluto with some gems um, and the going in circle stencil. And so is this the going in circles. They're the same stencil, but don't they look like totally different cards, totally different effects. This one by centering up, this one by using that really lovely circle edge. So if you want this to be the tutorial, you can let me know you want me to do the going in circles cards. Uh, this is another unbelievable. So this is on the perfect blend. And then can you see that beautiful gold? There you go, there's that gold tint. So they're again, just using kaleidoscope powders. So maybe you want some more tips on how to use them outside of just putting them onto cardstocks while they look beautiful like this. You can add so much glitter to all of your projects and uh, do that. And then there's one stamp set. This will be coming out on January 1st for our December release. Um, but they are getting it a little bit early as an exclusive to them. So if you want to shop this one, shop it early. I think it's going to be really popular. It's called Hipster Valentine. And this is one of the cards I made. Uh, you Hold My Heart. Isn't that cute? Lots of different coloring techniques, lots of skin tone ideas, uh, lots of different ways to use them too. It also includes these two cute little octopi who I love. And again, you can see lots of kaleidoscope powders on there. We have the So Cool, and then we have the Love on here as well. So, all right, so I'm gonna leave this poll open for about 24 hours, because I know not everyone gets to come and join us live and those kinds of things, but leave me a comment. If you want to see skin tone colorings, you can drop us a line on that. If you want to see um, different ways to use kaleidoscope powders and stencils, or kaleidoscope powders can be one, Stencils can be another, and then how to do three color blending Copics to make really, really beautiful things. Um, you can take those same skills I show you and make things like this, or you can, you know, do all of these. You see how much depth and whoops, that's the wrong way. Up. How much depth and things that are in there, but they are literally just three colors, which I think is really, really uh, awesome. So. I love how these came out. So these will be going in the mail tomorrow uh, to Hachanda. I absolutely love how these came out. So drop me a comment, let me know, and then we'll check them out and I'll come back later in the week and we'll do a craft together. Be sure to also check your emails. I sent out an email reminder yesterday. You've got till midnight tonight EST to save 35% off of the whole of makeaforte.com. Absolutely everything, every physical product is on sale except for the bundles. And then... Um, we will also be sending out an email uh, probably tomorrow or Wednesday 
with how you can get your free ticket to an online workshop to our lift your spirits workshop so if you want to get a ticket it's going to be an exclusive event this month we're going to do it and then we'll upload it later but if you want to join us live if you want to interact and do all of those fun things with us be sure to grab your free ticket you don't have to pay anything just go and grab a ticket and you'll get the link of how to join us so um happy monday i hope you're all enjoying a little bit of Simon monday shopping and some downtime after the holiday i hope you all had a great thanksgiving Leave me the comment of what you'd like the tutorials to be. And don't forget to check out makeaforte.com. Um, every order also is getting a free pin. You might get Dotty or Hetty or Makeaforte or we have the little uh, Bluebird in there. So you'll get a free pin and free shipping if you spend $75 as well, plus 35% off everything. So it's a win, win, win. So thanks for joining me for a little bit of your um, Monday night. And I will see you again very, very soon once I see the results of the poll. See you later. Bye.